Welcome to YS Online, I am Dai Sensei, and if you're a beginner looking to learn Japanese and pass the JLPT exam, JFT A2 exam, and all the others, this channel is for you. Last lesson, we learned how to make a request, invite, and give instructions to someone to do something, or to ask someone to do something using the te form, mainly the verb te kudasai and verb te imasu. Siguro naman ay kabisado na natin ang conjugation ng te form, but if you'd like a refresher on classifying verbs, check out the links in the description box below. This lesson, we will learn how to ask and give permission and also how to express prohibition in Japanese. So, kung kayo ay gustong humingi ng permiso mula sa parents or sa boss ninyo, we will use the form verb te mo i desu ka sentence structure. This translates to may I or can I do something. So, it's like pwede po ba? Next, we will learn how to give permission. So, tayo naman ang magbibigay ng permiso sa mga anak or alaga natin. Lastly, pag-aaralan natin kapag binawalan natin ang isang bagay. So, opposite of giving permission naman. Pay attention and take notes because I have an activity for you guys at the end. Feel free to pause or rewind a bit if you need some clarifications. Alright, here we go. Ang una nating pag-aaralan ngayon ay kung paano humingi ng permiso para gawin ang isang bagay gamit ang sentence pattern verb temo i des ka. May I or can I do something? So this is the polite way to ask for permission or to do something. Halimbawa, nagugutom tayo at may nakita tayong masarap na potato chips sa pantry, right? Gusto natin kainin, pero siyempre kailangan natin humingi ng permiso mula sa mga kasama natin sa bahay. So, hindi natin alam kung kanina yon. First step dito ay conjugate the verb into te form. So, our verb here is to eat. Tabemasu in Japanese. Ang te form dito ay tabete. And then, idulutong natin ang mo i desu ka. So, bali put together, it's tabete mo i desu ka. Tabete mo i desu ka. So, that's may I eat, right? So, kumpletuin natin ang sentence natin. Dalagdagan natin ng object, which is potato chips. Or in Japanese, potato chips. Potato chips. So, magiging ganito ang sentence natin. Potato chips o tabete mo i desu ka? Potato chips o tabete mo i desu ka? So, in English, that's may I eat the potato chips. Let's try another example. So, right now, pretend ihing ihi na tayo but nasa gitna tayo ng exam. So, Gusto kong pumunta sa restroom, so paano tayo magpaalam sa proctor? Sundan lang natin ang pattern at tandaan natin na nasa hulian palagi ang verb. Dito naman, may location tayo. So, that's the toilet, di ba? In Japanese, this is toide. Since location ito, ang particle natin is ni. Our verb here is ikimasu or to go. So, this is a special verb in group 1, so ang te form natin dito is itte. Okay, kumpletuin natin ang sentence kasi ihinghihi na ako. Toile ni itte mo i desu ka? So, that's pwede ba akong pumunta sa toilet? Or, can I go to the toilet? So, ayan, alam na natin kung paano magpaalam kung gusto natin pumunta sa restroom. And on that note, I'll be right back. A few moments later. Ah, feeling great. So, where were we? O nga pala. So, paano naman kung ikaw ang magbibigay ng permission? Simply drop the particle ka 
it's a pattern verb demo e desu ka. You can also choose to add yo in the end of the sentence as many Japanese people do. So that becomes verb temo i desu yo. So kung tayo naman ang teacher at nagpapaalam ang student natin na gustong pumunta ng toilet, we say you may go to the bathroom. Or in Japanese, toire ni itte mo i desu yo. So kanina nag ask tayo ng permission para pumunta sa restroom, right? Toire ni itte mo i desu ka? The affirmative response to this is hai, itte mo i desu. Or kung gusto natin ng shortcut, we can use dozo. Dozo. That means sure, go ahead or sige lang. Kapag no naman or ayaw natin pumayag, we say sumimasen. Chotto. Got it? Sumimasen. Chotto. Sorry, pero or excuse me, but so this way is the more indirect or polite way of saying no. Kung gusto naman natin na mas direct, we say iye, dame des. Iye, dame des. So that means hindi puede or no, that's not allowed. So madali lang, di ba? Para mas makabisado natin ang pattern na ito, may ihahanda kaming Q&A sentences. So, your activity for today is to translate these sentences into Japanese. Question. Can I watch TV? Answer. Yeah. Go watch. And no, that is not allowed. Second question. May I borrow your pen? Answer. Yes. You may borrow the pen. Or, sorry, pero... Mm. Last one. May I eat the salad? Answer, yes. You may eat the salad. Leave your answers in the comment section below para matignan ko kung tama ang sagot natin. That's it from us at YS Online today. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching guys as always and if you like this video be sure to hit that subscribe button and share this video with your friends who might be interested to learn more about the Japanese language. For those subscribed to our full online learning platform be sure to check out the quizzes para makarefresh kayo sa mga pinag-aralan natin dito today. If you'd like to know more about our in-depth and live programs be sure to check us out at www.ysnlc.com. I'll put the links in below and I'll look forward to hearing from you guys soon. For YS Online, my name is Dice. Again, ciao. Matane.